Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Hope you're all doing good. Faded, thank you for the 10 months as a member. Going to be on the angler, angler today. Also, those whitetail stats are actually insane. <laughs> Keep it up. Uh, yes, I have a angler stream scheduled already as well. And uh, yeah, the stats are pretty wild. They're pretty wild for those whitetail. But hey, this is what wanting a specific uh, rack will do to you when you just can't get it. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody's doing good. How's everybody on Twitch doing? Benny, how's it going? Rusty, Danny, Milk, Carnage, Jeremy. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Yo, what's up, Airplane Dude, Trophy Hunter, Monkey Man, and everybody else? Yo, what's up, Kevin? What's up, Sir Kevin? Hey, call the Wild Grinder. Max score for Rue is 530, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, it's 530, I think. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I, I think it's 530. Because I remember it's like the same as the uh, the crocodiles. Or not crocodiles, the gators. It's the same as the gators, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, eh, looks like another shootable buck right there. We'll just pop this guy for now, though. Yeah, that's what we need to shoot. Love to see it, man. Great start to the day. 165 on this current grind, by the way. Uh, we're hunting whitetail deer, Nate. You spawned a super and 78 kills. Oh my gosh. Talk about some crazy luck. If you don't get the typical rack this grind, try doing great one before level 60 with no HM. I don't know if I want to do great one before level 60 with whitetail. Because, like, it would probably take me the entire leveling process just to get HM set up. And doing no HM just isn't that fun to me on a Great One grind. Because, like, Great One grinds are usually quite long, right? And if you're not getting stuff to keep you interested the whole time, I just have a hard time uh, not losing interest in the grind, you know? But that's partially just due to how long I've played this game. Yo, what's up, Elo? How's it going? Hey, Jackson. Three of them there that we can take down. Can I get all three? No, we can't. Eh, he'll die. We got two of them, but I, I definitely failed on trying to get the third. It is what it is, though, man. 237 is not bad. Do you think they should add a Great One Mule Deer? Oh, 100% they should. I mean, Mule Deer is one of the most requested Great Ones in the game. I have a serious question. My, bro my brother downloaded mods on my computer as a joke, and I want to remove it. How do I do it? I'm so scared. Uh, I mean, all you can really do is, like, reinstall the game files. Ash, thank you for the 200 bits. How's it going, Crow? It's going good. And I like tacos. Thank you for the 100 bits, dude. Thank you guys so much. Y'all are absolute legends. Uh, This guy ran away, right? Yeah, this one ran away. There's the blood. What gun do I recommend for beginners? Um, well, early on, like you're, if you're not buying DLC, then you're going to be working up towards the seven millimeter primarily. The seven mm is a fantastic rifle. Got some great power and can take a pretty wide range of animals. So I'd work towards that. Oh, I got to catch up on Twitch chat. It stopped scrolling. There we go. Uh, Roman, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing super good. Six kills into my great one grind, spawning level four and five, but I've not got a great one or level five in 200 kills on a fallow tier grind. Oh, that can happen, man. Like, you get some dry streaks here and there. I get on dry streaks as well. Ooh, decent buck there. Holy crap. Ash with another 500 bits. 
Hype train. Oh my gosh, you're right. We're so close to a hype train. We are so close to a hype train on Twitch. Oh my gosh, Ash with another hundred bits. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolute legend, man. This is wild for sure, faded for sure. What legendary fish is in rotation today? So right now it should still be Sidewinder, um, Cal Paul, and La, La Mastrenka. But I believe, I don't know when they rotate out. I think they rotate out like later in the day today. And then the new ones rotate in like tomorrow in like the second half of the day. I, that's how it used to be at least. I don't know if they still do it like that. Will Brover be at Tackle Tuesday tonight? Yes, he will be. As far as I know, he will be. Yep, that's Twitch for you, Faded. <laughs> that's Twitch for you. Uh. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking about just turning ads off on Twitch because of the fact that, like, uh, since we have a, a, a lower, like, a smaller audience on Twitch, it's not like ads are even like generating any revenue at all. So I could honestly probably just turn them off on Twitch. Like you really only make money off of ad revenue on Twitch if you have like a larger stream with like a thousand people or more. So I could probably turn them off for the next stream if I remember to. Austin, thank you for the 24 months as a member on YouTube. Thank you so much, Austin. Hope you're doing good, man. Got a speckle with spider rack on my moose. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, yo, albino. Albino. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's a good looking albino. Holy crap. Like I like tacos. Thank you for the 100 bits, dude. Thank you. Holy... Holy smokes, man. Oh my gosh. I just realized something as well. I need to turn the alert box back on for recordings. And I think I need to turn it back on for clips as well. I did some messing around with my Streamlabs to try and clean up the recordings because we did it to where it showed all the on-stream overlays and stuff for a while but I don't know recently it's just eh okay I need to turn off the replay buffer first now I think I should be able to adjust replay buffer can I maybe I can't do it while I'm live yeah, it looks like I can't do it while I'm live. Oh, well, man. Oh, crap. I just realized I turned off the replay buffer, so now I don't get to clip the spotting of this albino. Well, I didn't think that through. Oh, well. We can record the actual killing of it, at least. Look at that beauty, though. What's the best map for money? Uh, whichever map you know the best is probably going to end up being the one you'll make the most money on. Overall, though, maps like Silver Ridge, uh, Silver Ridge Peaks, Emerald Coast are probably a couple of the more, I guess, like, easy to make money on type of maps. There we go. That should be a kill shot. Just killed my first super rare. It's an albino red deer. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. 225, you think? Could be. Looks like it's in that range. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm going to say 217. Ah, 218.68. I was close. I was very close to guessing that. I was very, very close. Man. Super close. <laughs> Get a couple screenshots of this beauty. There we go. Now, where'd the other one go? There it is. You're way off. Yeah, sometimes it can be tough to judge them from a distance. 
Holy crap. Ash, thank you for another 200 bits. I'll take my spot at fourth on the leaderboard. Oh my gosh, Ash. Just going in. Holy crap. What the? Oh, nervous. Okay, that's from a different zone then. Okay, we got to be careful not to shoot the wrong deer here. We'll just shoot this guy for now. Because I don't want to screw that zone up. Zevin, thank you for the 20 months, dude. Welcome back. Found a super rare croc. Let's go, Andrew. Let's go. That's awesome. Coming for that rainbow badge? Dude, you're close. You're really, really close, man. Nice, Benny. Nice. Love to see it, man. Nice. Oh no, Piggy Wowness. Dude, that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that, my dude. That's rough. What? The oh, oh gosh, what happened? I like tacos. Thank you for the 300 bits, dude. Thank you for the 300 bits. Oh my gosh, you guys on Twitch are going crazy. Um, you could. Well, what platform? I'm assuming you're playing on Steam, Danny, right? Like you're playing on Steam on PC. In that case, just go to the game itself. Right click it. Like go to the game in the Steam list. In the Steam game list. Right click it. Click uninstall. And then just reinstall it after it uninstalls. Holy crap. Ash with another 100 bits. One more for good. For good measure. Holy. You guys are going crazy. Absolutely crazy. On Epic? Oh, then you just uninstall from there. Like, it's the same process, right? You just go into your game library and do the, the uninstall button. And then just reinstall it. That's not going to wipe your save file. It's just going to, uh, like, reinstall the game files. That's a three. Nice three there. That's a really nice three. I mean, it's the small rack, but it's a really wide one. I should probably reload. What map should you go hunt? How about Verhonga Savannah? How about that? Ooh. We got all three. Let's go. Why don't I use the Argus? Uh, it's got too much wobble to it. Like, it's way too sensitive. With its high zoom levels. Because the thing is, like, Call of the Wild doesn't scale the uh, the sensitivity very good for different zoom levels. So, like, with the Hyperion, you can be a lot more precise because it's not as wobbly. It's not as, like, uh, sensitive. Oh, nice, Tasca. That's awesome. And Tacos, thank you for the 100 bits again. Going to get on the top 10 leaderboard? Let's go, dude. Let's go. Thank you so much, man. My gosh. You guys are just going crazy. Yo, what's up, Jets Gaming? Oh, 246. I thought this was wider. What was I thinking? I thought for sure that was a wider buck. Is the switch from Medved to Layton worth it for moose grinding? Oh, 100%, man. It's so much easier on Layton. Oh my gosh, dude. Tacos, thank you for another 200 bits. My gosh, guys. You guys are spoiling me. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Holy. Uh, let me look at what it scored again for you. 643. Um, I think I've got one that's around like 640-ish. I think it might be like just under 640. I don't think I have a 643 scoring uh, Big Rack Great one. I don't think I do. I might be wrong, though. It's kind of hard to remember every single one of them because I've got a lot of big racks. What's going on over on Twitch? Getting a lot of bits donated. That's what's going on on Twitch at the moment. It's kind of crazy. 
There we go. Got that. Was fallow grinding for a bit because I was a little tired of the bear grind. Spawned a 242 scoring albino fallow. If only it was a level 5. Dude, that's still really good though. Like 242 is massive. That's a really solid deer. Just like that guy. Solid deer. Well, he's behind the hill. Thought maybe I could sneak a shot in there before he got away, but couldn't do it. Oh my gosh, dude. Tacos and Bearded Daddy Gaming. Thank you guys for the uh, bits. This daddy wants in on the fun. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Oh my gosh, guys. We're on a hype train. We're on a hype train over on Twitch. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go, man. <laughs> We're like literally 18 minutes into the stream. You guys got a hype train going already. My gosh. Gosh. All right, guys, my wife just brought me some lunch. So if I go silent, you guys know why. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Caitlin? How's it going? My, my gosh. Oh, did I, I got to make sure I didn't miss anything while I was getting the, uh, getting the food. Tacos. Thank you. Thank you so much for the 200 bits. And, uh, Gernzilla, thank you for the tier one sub. Holy crap, man. <laughs> oh, this is insane. Oh my gosh. You guys complete the level one hype train with that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're on a level two hype train. 19 minutes into the stream. You guys are popping off. That's a big two there. That is a, that's a thick two. You know, I think that might be a diamond. Looks very diamond-like to me, at least. I don't know, Tacos. I would have thought that you would be. Oh my gosh. Got no name, bro. Thank you for the prime sub. Really appreciate it. Oh, that's a diamond. Let's go. Diamond on the board. Dude, and Ash. Thank you for the 200 bits. Let's go for tier three. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can handle tier three. <laughs> very diamond shaped. Yes, very, very diamond shaped. He definitely was. Hey, off road. I'm doing good, man. Perfect time for the great one to spawn. I know, right? Also, I think I still have the, like, bit sound alert a little bit too loud. Let's see. Holy crap, dude. Hold on, let me catch up again. Tacos, thank you for the 200 bits again. I guess I'm donating more, dude. Oh my lord. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Andrew. Uh, you missed an albino, a really pretty albino. And then we've got a, a couple of diamonds as well. But man, that albino was like the, uh, the star of the show. Nice, tacos, nice. There you are, man. Holy crap, we're we're halfway through the tier two hype train. I we're about to break the record for like the highest hype train we've ever had. My gosh. Remember, guys, if you click the subscribe button on Twitch, you can check to see if it'll uh, allow you to do a free Prime sub. If you have Amazon Prime, you get a free sub on Twitch. So if you haven't used it, be sure to check for that. Oh, oh my gosh. Hold on. I got to scroll up. I got to scroll up. Gernzilla, thank you for the five tier one gifted subs. 
Congrats to, uh, holy crap, and Raid, thank you for the two months. Had to support with the Prime sub this month, dude. Thank you, Raid. Thank you. Uh, congrats to Zaggy DK. Oh, Zaggy got one. Uh, Beefy, CPR, Harry, Fire Lord, congrats for getting all of those gifteds, guys. Holy smokes. And I like tacos. Thank you for the hundred bits again. I, I'm having trouble keeping up with everything. This is insanity. This is insane, man. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys have pushed us into a tier three hype train. Jeez. Oh, don't run me over, bro. Wait, we're at level four now? Oh my gosh. I didn't. It's like, it's all like uh, blanked out for me. Like, I can't see what it's at. I might have to refresh the, uh, the page. What did the albino score? It was 218. It was 218. Pro's losing to 23 minutes in. That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Deer Slayer, thank you for the prime, dude. Thank you for the prime, Deer Slayer. Holy dude, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Ash, thank you for the 100 bits. Level 5, level 5? No way. You guys are absolutely legendary. <laughs> that's, a, that's a record for me by a long shot. That is a record by a, a long shot for me. Holy. Holy, man. How long am I streaming for? Uh, it'll probably be a couple hours in total because I have a second stream that I'm doing today that's probably going to be like four hours plus. Um, exploring the new map on the Angler. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been back to the Twitch streams for a few months now. Indeed. And we got a couple over here. Nice, got both of them. All right, I need to take a bite of my food before it gets cold. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Tacos. Thank you for the 200 bits. Appreciate it. Keep it going. I think it ended, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I, I can't actually see it. it it's, all, it's all bugged out for me. Levi, thank you so much for the 100 bits as well. My freaking gosh, guys. That was insane. That that was crazy. Right. Oh my gosh, it's still going. Levi, thank you for another 100 bits. Oh my gosh, bro. My gosh. Dude. I can't even eat my food. Ash, thank you for the 100 bits. Yeah, sadly, YouTube doesn't get the cool hype train stuff. Hopefully, one of these days, we'll get something similar on YouTube. That would be nice. Yeah, Andrew, it's a beautiful albino. Holy crap, man. Hey, Dub, thank you for the 200 bits. First time chatter as well. Welcome. Holy. Uh, there should be a TikTok command, Caitlin. Unless I accidentally removed it. I might have accidentally removed it when I was uh, cleaning up the commands a while back. That's a buck we can smoke. If I can get him. Oh, here we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. We got him down. Oh, there isn't, Caitlin? 
Oh, I used to have one. I, I must have deleted it when I went through and like cleaned out some of the old commands. I must have accidentally deleted the TikTok one. Every time I take a bite, man. Oh my gosh, guys. Ash, thank you for the 100 bits. Need to keep my 4th and 8th place on 10. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, Delilah RDR, thank you for the Prime sub. Also, Levi redeemed a mod poll, so moderators, choose a poll for Twitch. Um, if you could. Let me know what poll to put up on Twitch. Holy crap, man. <laughs> oh. Yo, what's up, A-Rod? Uh, there's, there's been a lot of stuff up, man. Like, Twitch is just going crazy. <laughs> Twi Twitch has been popping the frick off the whole, the whole stream. <laughs> to the point where I don't even know what to do. There we go, got those two down. Do we have any uh, moderators in either of the streams at the moment? Because we got to get this moderator poll set up. Just let me know what you want it to be. Thank you, Buck Hunter. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Kevin. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, faded. Probably. Caitlin's over on YouTube, though, so she's uh, she's thinking of one. Nice. Got all three. Oh, it cut off. <laughs> Sounds about right, Galen. That's how it be. Uh, yes, Buck Hunter, it is. It is, if you're talking about the being able to fast travel to vehicles in the Angler. Yes, that should be on every single map. Um, If I'm not mistaken, Faded, I think you click the subscribe button. And if you like read through all the stuff that pops up, I think there's one that says that you can use the Prime sub there. How to get the recoil management perk. Uh, so to get recoil management, you got to go into perks, shotguns, and then right here. Recoil management. It applies to every single weapon, not just shotguns. Couple bucks there. Nice. Um, I don't know how it's redeemed on mobile. I would assume the same way. I don't really use Twitch on mobile. I primarily just use it on PC, so I'm not too familiar with how they have it set up on the app. Uh, yes, Tightlines Fishing, it does help spawn diamonds faster. If you do it properly, at least. Like, there's a reason that HM has been, like, such a controversial thing in the core community of the game. Because it does work. It works very, very well if you do it properly. 
But it's hard to get it right. That's the thing about it. It's tough to get it 100% right the first time around. Like, it takes a lot of trial and error learning how to do it. The more times you've attempted to do it, the easier it gets, you know? That type of thing. Got three big males over there. Blazer, thank you for the $10 super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing great. It's purchased through Apple, meaning no free sub with Prime. Oh, gotcha, Benny. Is that is that true? You can't use your Prime sub on mobile? If so, that's crazy. Why would they do that? <laughs> Although that might just be on Apple devices. Gosh, my tent keeps getting smacked down. These evil deer. Always after my tents. Never fails. How do you do HM? You leave all the small males and kill the big ones. So for White Tail, you leave every level one that spawns until you get 70% of your males to be level ones. Then after that, any of the ones that are remaining, you just continually, repeatedly shoot them until you get the big males to spawn. There's a lot more like nuances to it, but that's like the quick breakdown. Oh, gotcha, Caitlin, gotcha. Big oof. Ash, thank you for the tier one sub. Really appreciate it. Let's go, Ash. Which has been going freaking wild today. <laughs> Absolutely wild. Why did I crouch? That is not what I meant to do. When you do a great one grind, do you find all zones and just use the best ones with the most deer? Well, I do herd management, so it's not that simple for me. I find all of my zones, which right now I have 71 zones. I have 71 whitetail zones. And what I've done is I have hunted every single one of those zones until the majority of them are just level one. So essentially just repeatedly killing them until they respawn as level ones. So right about now, the only zones that don't have level ones are the ones that I'm hunting because those are the ones where I kept them as my main zones. So yeah, it is like I pick out the best zones and then I manage down the rest of the zones to those level ones. I've done tons of guides on herd management, uh, Andrew. There's the uh, the link in chat, actually. There we go. Don't worry, guys. Almost done with my food. Okay, Caitlin. <laughs> Let's see. Would you rather do a super rare duck grind or super... Rare rabbit grind.
It won't let me type all that. I'll make it fit. There, I made it fit. And I'll pop it up on YouTube as well. Don't worry, guys. Human Legend, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Okay, now for YouTube. I'll do the poll on YouTube as well for you guys. If you had to choose between the two, what would you prefer to do? Definitely a tough one, because neither of them would be easy things to do. Wow, Duck is uh, <laughs> running away with it on Twitch. Ooh! Hello there, big feller. How you doing? Fancy seeing you here. That is beautiful. All right, guys. Two bites left of my food, and then I'll be good. Let's see. Ooh, 270. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, I forgot to shoot these. No. I was so distracted trying to finish my food that I completely forgot to even shoot the deer over here. Well, we got one. We saved it. I mean, that'd be sick, Fire Lord, for sure, man. That'd be an awesome super rare. Nice, Tyler. Love to see it. Love to see it, man. Holy, dude. Ash, thank you for the 300 bits again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're now third. Let's go. Let's go. There's the males. They were just taking their sweet time to come out of the uh, the woodworks. The power of the 300 AR. It's just too OP. Okay, yeah, so over on Twitch, Duck won the poll by a lot. 94% said Duck over on Twitch. It's a little more 50-50 on YouTube. It's 52% for Duck currently, 48% for uh, Rabbit. That's crazy. The difference between like the, uh, the polls on each platform is actually kind of wild. It's fascinating. Ooh, Duck is slowly losing traction. 51%. Oh, back to 52. Crazy. Um, let me let me check, Ash. Oh yeah, that's old Golden Game. Golden Game's been a pretty uh pretty massive supporter recently. Golden Games has been going crazy. On, on both YouTube and Twitch, actually. Absolute legend, man. 
Yeah, maybe, Caitlin. It's hard to say. The thing about, his ra about the rabbits is a lot of rabbits are solos from what I've seen. And so, you know, you shoot one, who knows where it's going to respawn. That's the problem I would have with a rabbit grind. Uh, a few weeks ago, I believe, Ash. I think it was like a couple, couple, three weeks ago. Something like that. The rabbits are like bears, I can deal with that. Yeah, but imagine hundreds of rabbits. All in feed zones. And you don't know where they're going to end up on the entire map. That's, they're, they're definitely, they'd definitely be worse than bears to grind. That's for sure. They'd be brutal. Two hundred and sixteen kills into the grind, by the way. Um, yeah, I I do feel like HM affects great ones at this point. My opinion on that has changed like four times throughout my time uh, doing HM. For a while, I thought that it did, or no, for a while I thought that it didn't because I had so many long. Uh, red deer grinds at the beginning of my time using it like almost every red deer grind I had was like 3,000 6,000 almost 7,000 kills, you know, like I had some really brutal grinds back to back to back to back to back And so at that point I felt like it didn't affect them Then I went to the whitetail grinds and was popping whitetail great ones in like 100 200 300 kills quite consistently And so then I started thinking okay, maybe it does but then I stopped doing HM for a while, and I got like another, I think it was another four or five Great One Whitetail with no HM, and all those grinds were like the same general length as my HM ones. So at that point, I started thinking that it didn't affect them once again, and now I think that it does just based on Fallow Deer and Moose, and what I've seen with the Black Bear. Fallow Deer, Moose, and Black Bear kind of like changed my opinion on it. I definitely think that it does affect them, and I do feel like it affects each species differently. And I feel like the like level of HM you have also can affect how much it affects them. That's my take on it. I feel like each species is a little different, and the more extreme you get your herd management, I feel it has a higher chance of short grinds. But, you know, that's just my experience. That's the thing about it. It's going to be hard to ever tell 100% because everybody's experience is a little different in Call of the Wild. <laughs> 27 Great One Moose. Dude, that's insane. Your average kills is now a 448. Have an insane herd management in Revan Tuli. First Moose Great One took 13,000 kills. Didn't have uh, good herd management there. Yeah, for sure. Like, um, most of my Leighton Lakes moose grinds have been sub 500. Uh, same with my fallow deer. I had a crazy streak where I think it was like my first five or six great one fallow deer were all under 600 kills each. It was wild. Then I got hit with some bad luck and got like a couple of 2,000 kill grinds, a couple 1,800 kill grinds. But yeah, it's been kind of wild with Moose and Fallow in particular, and Black Bear. Black Bear have been pretty insane too, once I got past my two terrible grinds at the beginning. Roddy, thank you for the five months, dude. Welcome back. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Doing super, super good. What's my longest grind ever? It was an 8,300 kill black bear grind. That was my longest grind of all time. And it was terrible. <laughs> it was the most brutal grind I've ever been on. I hope I never have to go through an 8,300 kill grind again. Yeah, you have had some crazy short grinds towards the end there, Caitlin. 406, 94, 1029, 492. That second one was wild though. 4100, jeez. That was like that flute grind where it's just like out of nowhere it's just like, "Yeah, we're going to make it tough for you this time." 
Yo, what's up, Sam? <laughs> uh, my parents got a new dog. I'm now positive they're trying to replace my sister and I after we moved out. Oh, man, Sam. I mean, when you think about it, that is one of those things where, you know, after your kids move out, things are quite different. You get lonely. It's just, you know, it's not going to be the same for a while for them. So I could see that. I could definitely see that being the case. Nice, got that one. Shortest moose was 15 kills. That's crazy. I think my shortest was what, 27? Was it 27 or 28, guys? I'm sure somebody in chat remembers. Ooh, that's a big boy three. Oh, two big boy threes. That's awesome. Two big boy threes in the same zone. Can I get this one too? Ah. Nope, not going to get him. But we got the ones that matter. Colin, thank you for the super chat, man. Been doing a moose grind for over one year on Revel and Tula Coast. I have 84 bulls, all but 13 of them are level twos and small threes, but I will still spawn level twos in my shooting zones. Why is that? Oh, because there's way more than than 84 bulls on, on Revel and Tule, dude. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure throughout my time grinding on there, there's got to be at least 120. 263, let's go. We got a diamond. Yeah, Rev on Tuli's got to have at least 120 males. Like, probably way more, to be honest. To be honest, it's probably way more. Because the tough part about it is they can be on, like, every inch of the map. And in a lot of cases, they're late to their zones, so it's hard to keep track of them. Uh, the solos move around, making it hard to keep, even harder to keep track of them. I could see that being the case there you you're probably just missing some of them because yeah 84 seems kind of low i'd say you need to manage down more of your map your grind on rev had around 128 bulls from counting sheesh yeah yeah there's def you're definitely missing some of them if, if you've only found 84 because yeah i easily had over 120 Airplane dude says he had 100, 128 from counting. Gosh, I can't speak today, dude. I need to slow down. I need to slow down. Yeah, for sure, Carnage. For sure. It happens, though. Like, you never know when a great one's going to be on your map till you find it. So there's many cases where, you know, somebody stops hunting for their great one. They come back and it's just spawned right there. I mean, I've had a couple situations where I didn't necessarily stop for a super long period of time, but, you know, I stopped playing for the day, came back the next day. First thing we spotted on stream was a great one, which would mean that that great one would have been sitting there for a day before I ended up finding it. Got a big rat, great one, white tail. Let's go, Thatcher. That's awesome. Uh, not really, Terrell, no. Not really. Ah. Did not get a good shot. <laughs> yeah, tacos. You guys, we're going crazy. I didn't know how to handle it. <laughs> yeah, it did, Ian. It did. My last great one, Whitetail, uh, it was the first thing we spotted that day. <laughs> oh, man, Sam. Man, oh, man. I'd read that out loud if it wasn't bad advice. <laughs> oh, that's great. 
It's one male. Yeah, just one male here. Yesterday I got a 625 scoring big rack whitetail. Ooh, that's actually kind of low for a big rack. That that's a cool trophy. I always like it when you can find those uh those great ones that score much lower or much higher than that rack would typically score. I think I have like a 625 as well. I either have a 625 or a 627 or something like that. But yeah, it's such a cool like variation of the big rack to get. Super super cool. Uh, that's a guaranteed troll, so I'm just going to shoot it with the 300. Oh, got him. Typical rack white deal this stream. Could you imagine, man? Could you freaking imagine? Hey. Don't hit me. That's mean. That's rude of you. 245. Yeah, I kind of figured it wasn't going to make it. Where's the other one? Huh? Where'd the other one go? Oh, it's over here. Interesting. 231. Oh, on Twitch chat's moving so fast I gotta scroll up. Funny part is grinding moose only for one reason. I want the two-tone. I have 27 moose and not a single two-tone? Wow. I even have the rare oak 50-50 rack moose, but no two-toned. Dude, that's insane. Yeah, you should totally have a two-toned in 27 great ones. Like, yeah, that's that's wild. I mean, I've got like what? Well, let me let me check my sets. I have 10 moose great ones. I have either 10 or 11. I might have 11. I think I do have 11. Out of 11 of them, I still don't have the spruce. And I've only got one birch. So yeah, you can definitely get some, some bad luck where you just go without getting a fur type for a long time. I mean, I still don't have the fabled spirit bear. And at this point, I've got like, what, seven or eight bears? There's always that one fur type that just eludes you. And it's usually your favorite. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Ash, pretty much. After a while, like, when you've done as many grinds as I have, like, some of them just blend together. Hey, what's up, Jenna? How's it going? Take an ultra rare today, Coda? Could you imagine? Could you imagine an ultra rare? That'd be insane. Can I can I jump up, please? There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, Jason. That's awesome, man. Oh, don't float. That's just rude. Oh my gosh, Ash, thank you for the 100 bits. I was checking Twitch more than normal. I wonder why. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to give everybody, everybody the equal attention. And whenever I have a conversation, like actively going with someone, I try to check back so that I can read the follow-ups. Can you imagine a piebald typical rack great one? That would be like insane. That'd be insane. If I ever got an ultra rare, would that be your magnum opus or would you still grind for typical? Not gonna lie, I'd, st I'd still grind for the typical. Because it would still bug me that I'd be missing that. Like, yeah, an ultra rare is the greatest thing you could possibly get from a grind, but I think that would make me want to grind even harder for the typical, because I'd be like, how do I have the ultra rare 
but not something that's much easier to get. So I think it would still bug me even if I got an ultra rare. I'd still try for that typical. Because it would just drive me crazy that somehow I got something way more rare than it, but not it. <laughs> I don't really watch any Call of the Wild content, uh, OP Hunter. I, I don't really have time for it. And during the time where I do watch YouTube stuff, I'm usually watching other things that aren't related to the games that I usually stream and make videos on. Because by the time I'm done making streams and videos, I've seen so much of that game that I just want to see other stuff, you know? <laughs> so I don't really watch any content creators that do uh, Hunter content. Aside from, like, hanging out in, like, CJO, Nate, Caitlin, and Brobra streams. I hang out in there, but that's mainly for them, not the game. Um, I don't really like it, Fishing Boy. I think it, uh... I think trading does more to devalue trophies than HM ever could. And so I really do not... I don't support it at all. I feel like trading is just... It's just a cheap way to get your trophies. Couple males there. There's a reason that trading isn't allowed in the uh, the Hunter Discord, but HM talk is allowed. If you get an ultra rare this stream, I'll donate the max amount I can. That is a, uh, a very unlikely thing to happen. But hey, you never know. Maybe. Maybe we will be one of the extremely lucky people that gets a chance to see one. I mean, when you think of it, there's been less than 10 people that have got one legitimately. You know, one that has been proven to not be cheated in. They are insanely rare. I mean, when you think about it, there has to have been 4,000, 5,000, maybe even more. Great one, Whitetail. Uh-oh, my mouse just disconnected. No. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. My mouse just, like, lost connection for a second. What was I saying? That threw me off. Yeah, there's probably been over 5,000 Great One Whitetail killed over the years. And, you know, less than 10 of them have been legitimate fabled piebalds. So that just shows you how low of a spawn percentage it is. Like, the chances of getting an ultra rare are so slim that if somebody gets one, they're probably the luckiest person in the game. No, nah, reversals, I didn't. I have not seen what happened. Or what was sent. Nice. 241 kills now. Later, fishing boy. Yeah, I'd say between five and 10,000 Great One Whitetail have probably been killed. Because we also have to account for the fact that there's a lot of people that have probably got one and never posted it anywhere. Either because they didn't know it was super special or just because they weren't the type of person to post all their trophies. I'm sure there's easily been over 5,000 Great One Whitetail. Who has the most great ones? Um, Of the known people? I buy premiums. I think he's got... Gosh, what does he have now? Like... Above 150 and below 200. I know that. I lose track, man. He does so many, like... 30-hour streams, grinding great ones and stuff, where he gets, like, two or three of them that I lose track of how many he's got. Chad is saying... 157 or 159. 159. 
Okay, so yeah, I buy's got 159 great ones. And he streams all of it, so we know it's legit. Nice, great one, Hunter. Nice. Hundred and twenty-eight antlered great ones and twenty-eight non-antlered great ones. Sheesh. That would come out to 156 though. I thought he had more. Yeah, Danny is saying it was 157 four days ago. And now it's 159. I, I'm gonna assume that's probably correct. I mean, I have 73. So only half of what I buy has got. What's crazy though is I'm probably still in like the 1% of players in terms of number of great ones. I'm probably top 1%. But there's still people that have so many more than me. <laughs> it's crazy. Nothing there, eh? They're being weird. Now I've got them I've got them set pretty high, Ash, for for reasons, you know? Like I don't want people just like spamming them like uh for example like choosing the gun that i use on a great one if i make that like a an easy to obtain um points reward on twitch then i'd have a queue longer than i can you know get great ones right that, that's like a poor way of wording it but i'd be getting requests for weapons faster than i could get the great one so i'd have like five requests and then i'd have to you know just keep them on the back burner till I got them. So it's it's an expensive points reward for a reason, right? Because otherwise, there'd just be a massive queue of guns to use. There is our males. Where's the other one? There he is. Okay, I had to make sure he was still there before I shot this one. you never know when I could have accidentally shot one of the level ones and just not realized it. When was the last great one? Uh, it was less than a week ago. And it's been 245 kills since we got that one. Yo, what's up, uh... What's up, F4? How's it going? Uh, yeah, XYZ, I remember you. How's it going, man? Got a good silver moose. Nice, Benny. 2,000 kills in my red deer grind. I have 15 diamonds, 5 rares. Do you have any tips for me? Um, are you doing HM or are you just shooting all of the males? Because, I mean... If you're not doing HM, there's not really any tips that I can give you that are going to, like, get you more stuff aside from, like, trying HM. Oh, definitely, Nicole. It's very common, unfortunately. Which, actually, that, that, that reminds me. Let's do a little PSA here. If you're on Discord and somebody sends you a link to an inappropriate Discord, do not click it because 99 times out of 100, it's a scam that's just going to steal your login information and hack your account. So don't click that stuff. I know it, it can be it can be tough when you're like a younger kid and you're not aware of these types of scams and stuff, but yeah, don't click it. Don't click anything like that. And yeah, the Nitro scams too, where it's just like, get free Nitro. Don't click that. Don't click it. If somebody sends you something like that in Discord, usually 
a scam. It's usually a scam and they're just going to st steal your information and take your accounts. That's how they get more accounts to do it. Like, I've seen so many, like, accounts of even paying members on the channel have their Discord accounts hacked because they clicked those links. It's just best to never click a Discord link from somebody you don't personally know. And even if you personally know them, right? If it's too weird and out of the ordinary for what they would send you, don't click it either. Because, yeah, there's a lot of people getting hacked on Discord right now. It's been happening for months, to be honest. Figured since we were on the topic of that, we might as well, might as well let everybody know. Since there's still some people that fall for it. <laughs> do it, Benny, do it! Exactly, Sam, exactly. Don't go on Discord servers unless you know the person that owns it. Or if it's obviously like a big, well-known gaming company or something, like one of EW servers or, you know, like the ARC server, something like that, you know? Uh, yeah, Dion, it's not bad. There's definitely some things I would change about the uh, South Africa map in the Angler, but... It's decent overall. It's decent. Uh, there's a lot of pretty fish on it that I really like. Um, there's a couple species I probably would have changed or added in or left out. But overall, it's not bad. I do think it's probably the best map in the Angler. But I also think it could have been better, you know? Like, for South Africa... They could have really gone crazy with some of the fish species, but... Overall, I do think it's the best map in the Angler right now. Yeah, true ass, true. But still, like... Still not good that they get their accounts act. Because, you know, that can open them up to other information being stolen. Oh, 100% HD baller, 100%. <laughs> Replaced them with some, uh, some metallic green binoculars now. Yeah, that's right. It is, it is against terms of service to, uh, have a Discord account if you're under 13. And, like, this type of stuff is probably one of the reasons why. No males there, two runs in a row. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's crazy, Ian. The wild estimate. Ooh. That two's got a chance. It's actually th the same thing for Twitch as well. Twitch is uh, 13 and up as well, I believe. Uh, yeah, Javier, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Ah, didn't make it. Great one, maybe. Could be. Could be. You never know. Yeah, you're not, you're not wrong, Caitlin. Those are the accounts that I always see getting hacked or, like, of younger viewers. I mean, it's just, like, you know, lack of life experience, not having learned all this stuff yet. The internet's a dangerous place, man. You really gotta be careful nowadays. You really have to be careful. All 
Alright, I'm gonna shoot next to it to get him to turn. Boom! <laughs> probably, Sam. Probably. Uh, pretty much. Yeah, to be honest, there's always been, like, uh, parts of the internet that were, like, risky to, to be on, Caitlin. Like, in terms of, like, risk of getting hacked. There's always been, like... trouble on the internet but you always gotta be like extra sure of every website you click on extra sure of every link you click on you never know that's why I don't click any links in my uh, in my email unless it's from like unless I'm 100% sure that I know the sender Where is the mails? There they are. Oh gosh, Sam, rip, rip, rip your innocence as a child after that. Oh gosh, yeah, there's there's some wild sites out there, man. Uh, there can be a lot of reasons, motion, uh, content consistency, content changes, like. Anytime you do stuff like that, you hemorrhage like old viewers and slowly gain new viewers. So probably just like a lot of old viewers leaving because it's not what they subbed for. You never know, man. There's a million reasons that it could be. That's the thing about YouTube. Everything is uncertain. You never can 100% know the reasons for things. But in general, you're a good person if you're entertaining and you make content that people want, then you'll gain subs. That's usually how it works on YouTube. Hey, lol, man. What's up, dude? Been watching your YouTube since you had, like, 4K followers, but I didn't know you had Twitch. Yeah, I've had Twitch actually longer, or I've been making content on Twitch longer than YouTube. But I didn't really get back into doing Twitch until recently. I took a very long break from Twitch. But, yeah, as of recent, I've been getting back into it. How many kills? We're currently at 264. Oh, that'd be awesome, Motion. I would love a great one only multi mount. That'd be so cool. Ah, uh, potential diamond? I can't really see him very well where he is. Ah! Uh Probably was, and I just borked him completely. I don't know if you remember me, but I was the one who asked for HM. Oh, yeah, I remember you, JBs. You were here the other day. Rip, Lucas. Hate to see you, man. That's, that's part of doing video stuff, though. There's going to be times where video files get corrupted. There's going to be times where you forget to press record. There's going to be times your mic doesn't work. Like, it's just part of it. I would recommend checking out some of the guides I've got, uh, lol, man. I have tons of guides on how to find diamonds, great ones, all that type of stuff. 
Uh, I don't feel like chasing this guy down. It's going to take too long. And thank you for watching, Clayman. Without you guys, I'd be nothing. You guys are the reason I even have the time to make all of this content. Ooh, that's insane, Dion. That is like the holy grail of super rare whitetail. Any 275 rare would be like insane. Yep, pretty much, Lucas. <laughs> it would take way too much time out of shooting other deer to go grab that one. Nice, Bailey, nice. What does resetting your skill points do? Uh, it just allows you to repurpose those skill points into like new skills that you want to put them in. It essentially just gives you all the skill points back so you can reapply them. No, you dear. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. And he's floating. If it wasn't already bad, now he's floating too. Nah, no mule deer hunting this stream. I'm primarily going to do it off stream. Um, Where'd that? There it is. Okay. We'll probably do a couple live streams for mule deer, but... I usually do the great one grinds on the streams and then occasionally like some other stuff. Oh my gosh, Oracle! Thank you for the thousand bits, dude. Holy crap, Oracle! A thousand bits. What is today, man? What is today? It's been a wild day. Y'all are insanely generous. <laughs> Thank you, Oracle. Is there an animal combo that you would give up all of your great ones for? Ah, uh, yes. There is. Typical rack. Fabled piebald white tail deer. I'd give up all my great ones just to have that thing. Uh, not really, Skyfly. I have not had that at all, as far as I know. Nothing there. Missing a few bucks. Um, I, I don't want to get into it too much motion because anytime you talk about how to do something, then there's always going to be a, a couple people that try to do it, you know? Maybe, Clay, man. You never know. All right, back over here. Oh, definitely HD for sure. No males that we can shoot there either. Yeah, our white tail are being a little strange. 
that could mean great one or it could just mean they're being strange <laughs> you never know I'd like a short great one grind though we're at 268 right now if we could get one right now that'd be amazing All the way over there. That herd was spread out like so far. Nice green mamba. That's crazy. Ah, oh, you're probably not signed into Apex Connect, uh, Stu. If you're signed into Apex Connect, everything like on the uh, the top of the pause menu moves around. Jaden, thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Jenna. Oh, yeah, Michaela. Rip. Hate to see it. How many kills do I have? 272 on this grind. That diamond rack, I think it is. Big mail. Favorite great one I have is a two-tone spider rack moose. Ooh, that's probably really sick looking. Two-tone is such a good fur type. Nice, Ian. Nice. And that's a diamond. Twelfth diamond of the grind. Which honestly is a little low compared to the last two grinds. 12 and 274 is a little lower than the average that we've had. Um, I don't know, Lennox. I'd have to go through all of the ones I have to decide. Oh, um, in terms of hunting pressure, Wyatt, all you got to do to reduce hunting pressure is just use tripods and uh, blinds. If you use blinds and tripods, it reduces your hunting pressure by a massive amount. And if you want to move hunting pressure from one place to another, just hunt in a different area. I'm a 6,500... Uh, on my first ever great one grind, 152 diamonds, three super rares and 30 normal rares. I'm losing my mind. Hey, at least you're getting a lot of rares, man. That's a good amount of rares. Like a very good amount of rares. In fact, I think that's above the average. Because, like, you average a rare every 300 kills approximately. So, if you have 10 rares, that'd be, like, 3,000 kills. So, you have about the amount of rares that most people would take 9,000 kills to get. So, you're doing pretty good on rares. Just got to get that luck for that great one to show up. Just keep at it, man. It sounds like your grind's actually going pretty decent aside from the great one not showing up. There we go. Got them both. Hey, Settler. Uh, you missed an albino. A few diamonds and then 
uh, Twitch chat going crazy with the bit donations and subs and stuff. <laughs> it's been a wild day. What's up, Zachy? Maybe, Clayman. We'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky and get it today. Ooh, nice, Dion. That's really rare. Bart, thank you for the 15 months. Hey, man, long time no see. Welcome back, dude. Gosh, 15 months as a legendary crow is crazy. Like, that is just still insane to me that you're at 15 months as a legendary crow. Oh, my gosh. It's just pure insanity, man. For my HM, is about a diamond every 7 to 10 kills. Dude, yeah, that's crazy. Your grind is popping off, aside from the great one being stubborn. Work's been a little slow. Oh, no worries, man. Like, we all have times like that, right? You do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do, man. We appreciate you popping in whenever you can. Hey, B Dog, how's it going? What new animal or great one would I want them to add? So for new animal, I'd love to see Pierre David's deer. Uh, for new great one, elk would be my number one choice for sure. Yeah, it's been wild, Bart. It's been wild. I'm gonna go for 30 bear during spring break. Only need nine more than also 15 moose, which is also nine great one. I need three more white tail, one more red deer, one more fallow. So like 23 gram. Well. You, be, <laughs> you better be on top of it then, Zachy. You're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of work cut out for you there. How to deal with a whole herd of female fallow? Uh, just don't hunt it. If there's no bucks there, you don't need to hunt it. Ah, he started levitating. I didn't want to take that shot because it was risky. Ooh, risky. But uh, it worked out. He gave us a good shot after. What's up, Dynamic? My male moose disappear after a few rotations of grind. Why is that? Uh, they're moving to new zones, CJ. That's uh, That's why. Nine times out of ten, if your respawns aren't showing up, it's because they've gone to a different zone. Oh, that's just the way it is with Whitetail, Ian. Like, a lot of the uh, level twos with the diamond rack do end up making it. And a lot of the uh, level threes with that same rack troll. It's just part of the game. Just the way it is. Max level animals always have a chance of trolling. And supposedly, according to Daxie Beard, every animal in the game has a chance of being diamond one level below the max. But for some animals, it's a lot more common than others. Like, Whitetail are one of the most common level 2 diamonds there is. Like, they make diamond at level 2 a decent amount. There we go. Love to see it. 
Uh, yes, level three is max level for white tail deer. <laughs> pretty much, Hunter. Pretty much. That's why I love the Peter Davis deer, though. They they just look so cool and weird and wacky. <laughs> uh, because why? It's a faster way to hunt them. And when I'm on a great one grind, I'm not worried about getting the full metal rating. I'm not worried about getting the most money. I'm not worried about getting the most XP. I'm just worried about getting the kills as quick as I can. Yo, what's up, metal man? Hope you're doing good. Oh my gosh, four bucks here. What? That's rare. I don't usually see four bucks here. All right, one of you start drinking so that I can have a little extra time to shoot. None of them want to drink. Okay, we might just have to shoot now. Ah! Oh gosh, he just launched! Okay, that's good enough. We got three of the four. Uh, if you're having trouble finding the drink zones for white tail, I would recommend checking out my herd management guide for them over on YouTube dynamic. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, we got all four. <laughs> he decided to cooperate, I guess. Oh, gotcha, Metal. Nice, dude. Hope you have some luck. And we jumped in the water. Okay, there we go. Oh, nice, Ryan. Nice. It's possible, uh, Grey Cat. It's possible. There's a lot of theories on, like... Ooh, that's huge. Ooh, Big Boy 3. Big Boy 3. There's a lot of theories as to why, like, some species are easier to get trophies from than others. It's hard to say. Nice, a settler. That's awesome. Congrats on that diamond. 239. What does this guy score? What do you think, guys? This is a big one. I'm going to say... I'm going to be optimistic. 275. I think it's going to be max. This one looks really big. I'm going to be optimistic and say 275. Oh, Caitlin with the 267. Okay, okay. You think it's going to be kind of like a trolley one, one that tricks us. And lots of 274s and 273s. Let's see. Ah, 271. Did anybody guess that on the dot, I wonder? No, nobody guessed it exactly, but there was a lot of you that were very, very close. 271, though. Not bad. That's a thick boy. What's my dream non-Great One Predator trophy? Um, Out of the Predatory Animals? Ooh, Big Boy 3. Again. Out of the Predatory Animals, probably... I mean, Diamond Albino Lion would be incredible, but I'd also like a Diamond Leucistic uh, Gray Fox. Jan, thank you for the Prime sub. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. Thank you so much. It's like ramping up for something good, maybe. 261. Love to see it. 
I want to get another 270 plus basket rack. That'd be nice to see. Oh, we got three shootable bucks here. That's a three as well. Dude, what's up with this? That's three threes in one run. Oh, no, it's 12. They're running away. Okay, we kind of saved it. We got two of them. Oh, my gosh. What a sequence of shots. Thank you, Colton. Appreciate it, man. Uh, 255 is diamond for Whitetail, Ian. 255. This guy made 258. Let's go. Apparently my Whitetail are not real. Oh, no, Metal Man. Are you having trouble getting them to their zones? Doing really great. Introduced my girlfriend to gaming. Got her into Call of the Wild. Grinded two great one fallow deer since January this year. Meanwhile, I'm still grinding for my first one. <laughs> hey, man, that's how it is sometimes. That's how it is sometimes. Whenever you get the uh, the girlfriend or the wife into something, they always end up outdoing you. It's just the way it is. I've had plenty of situations like that as well. <laughs> that's awesome, though, man. That's awesome. What makes me taxidermize an animal? Um, ooh, an dude, another giant three. This run has been fracked, dude. Um, what makes me tax an animal? It depends. Like, uh, usually it has to be something I don't have a lot of. So, for example, you guys may think that I don't tax anything, but that's because we're hunting whitetail. If I'm hunting, like, mule deer, for example, you bet I'm taxing every diamond I see. You bet I'm taxing every single rare. But if I'm hunting whitetail, I've got over 1,200 diamond whitetail from my 40,000 kills on whitetail. So I don't have a reason to tax mini diamond whitetail anymore unless they're just super unique or super high scoring. But if I'm hunting a species that I don't have any of those diamonds, right? Obviously, I'm going to tax all of them. It's all about how many of that trophy I've got. If I have a crap load of something, I'll be less inclined to tax it than if I don't have any of them, you know? Let's see. What does he score? 269. The giants are everywhere. We're on a good streak right now. Uh, no, Ian, you can't. Because technically it's allowed in the game. It's just very frowned upon by the core community. Yo, what's up, Andrew? It's going good. We've had four diamond whitetail in this one run. We went from maybe having two or three the entire stream to getting four in one run. Like, this has been crazy. We're on an insane hot streak. What's my opinion on the old Legacy Rack Blacktail? Me, personally, I prefer the old one over the new one. Um... I didn't like the old ones because they were very unrealistic. Like, you would never see a blacktail deer with antlers like uh, like the old blacktail deer had. Dude, that's a 250 minimum estimate. Because this Could this be our fifth diamond in one run? I think that would be the most diamonds I've ever got in one run. If he makes it. We might be about to set a record for myself. I mean, this is obviously not counting our stacked ones that we've killed in the past. But out of, like, just a normal run on an HM'd map, this might be the most diamonds I've ever got if this guy makes it. Uh, no, Chaz. I have not fished since the update dropped on Angler. Oh, he made it. Let's go. Five in one run is crazy. That's actually crazy. Hold on. I got to go into the Codex. Latest harvests. <laughs> wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five diamonds and nine kills. 
<laughs> That's a record for me. I've never had five diamonds and nine kills without stacking. This, we're on a run and a half right now. I actually need to hide. I just need to clip this highlight. That's actually insane. That might be worth like getting its own video. That's crazy. I've literally never had five in one run before. Even with Extreme HM. What can I do to find better whitetail? Because I can't find anything over two minor. The highest I've seen is a three. But what can I do to find better animals? Uh, three is the max level for whitetail. So you've technically seen the, the highest level you can. If you want to get more diamonds, you can just not shoot the smaller ones. Like for whitetail, since that's what you're hunting. Uh, just don't shoot the level ones anymore. And if you ever get to a point where you only have level ones, then look for more zones and then just continue doing the same thing. You know, leave all the ones, shoot the twos and the threes. One second, I dropped something. Hey, no walking off, man. Oh, it's 1227. Yes, doggo, I do. He is one of the members. Oh, oh, that's a two. We got to shoot that. That's a two. How many kills on this grind? 303. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Right one incoming? Maybe. The map is definitely popping off. Do I stack with fallow? I stack with everything until it's no longer necessary. Because a lot of people kind of like misuse stacking. Just because they don't know any better, you know? But the thing about stacking is you don't want to stack after your map is fully managed. Like you only stack until your herd management is complete. Like, you'll stack those diamonds in your main zones until you manage down all of the exterior zones. Once you've managed all of them down, you kill all the stacked ones, and then at that point, you never need to stack again for that grind. Unless you want to, like, later on, make your HM more extreme. Alright, later, Sticky. Thank you for dropping in. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Noah. Other than the great one, the highest a white tail can go is three. Because, yeah, you got the great ones, but, yeah, they're just, they're like a separate thing. The normal max score for, or max uh, level for a white tail is three. Uh, we're not doing any competition today, uh, Chaz. Not doing a competition for Tackle Tuesday today. We're just exploring the new map. Getting everything unlocked, etc. Because, you know, a lot of the people that compete in Tackle Tuesday have to work. And so they're not able to unlock the map. So it would have been unfair to do a Tackle Tuesday competition. Especially since so many of the content creators got early access to the map. So they kind of know the map already. It just would have gave an unfair advantage to... People like myself and uh, Sloan and Tipsy, Brobra, etc. So we opted to not do a competition for today's Tackle Tuesday. Instead, we're just going to have fun and unlock everything. See if we can get some of the new diamonds. That type of stuff.
What's my least favorite animal? Uh, Lynx. Lynx, just because they've been evil to me in the past. <laughs> Lynx have been my arch nemesis. For the longest time. Have I ever had an initial spawn great one? Yes, my second great one ever was an initial spawn. Um, majority of players are like 99% sure that initial spawns do not exist anymore though. Main reason being, the people that used to cheat by pop reset spamming and scanning, they stopped getting great ones. <laughs> So that's that's why we kind of feel that they don't exist anymore. If those people stopped getting great ones from cheesing it, then I'd say there's a high chance that initial spawn great ones aren't a thing anymore. One, two, okay. See, we had a crazy, crazy run with diamonds everywhere. Now this run is small males everywhere. Just got a nine legendary albino red. Your troll. Oh no, dude. Ouch. That sucks. Yeah, the links just drive me crazy. Like. They're so hard to hit with like their little drinking animations where they're like just like dancing around in their zone. Um, finding level nines is relatively tough for them. When you do get a nine, they troll a lot. And I've had I had too many of them troll me before I finally got my uh, diamond one. And when I finally got a diamond, it was off a of Brober's map. <laughs> How many kills? 317. <laughs> 19 great one leaks. Of course you do, Metal Man. Uh, nope, Lenny. I don't believe so. Doesn't sound familiar. Couple decent twos. Not diamond potential, though. You know, I really hope that whenever we get this next great one, I hope that it's either typical rack, drop tine rack, or a short rack. Preferably typical rack or drop tine rack, as I don't have a typical rack and I only have a couple of drop tines, and I really like the drop tine. I'm hoping that it's going to be one of those because, you know, most of our great ones as of recent have been cluster rack and big rack with like a an occasional short rack or um, blade rack. Where's the rest of these? One... Gosh, I don't like it when I can't see, like, all of them because then I'm worried that I might, like, shoot too many. Okay, there she is. There she is, right there. So now we can pop that one. And we're good to go. Oh, no, Jason. That's rough, dude. Hey, Jacoby. Welcome back, Ash. Wait, <laughs> hold up. Where'd you come from, bro? Where did he come from, man? Interesting. Uh, the 300 AR is way better than the 300 bolt, in my opinion, George. It's so good. So freaking good. 
All right, guys, that's probably going to be it for today because I have another stream that I've got to do later in the day. So stay tuned for the Tackle Tuesday stream tonight. It's going to start a little bit early because I want to get some stuff unlocked on the map. It's already scheduled, so if you are uh, wanting to watch that stream, uh, go to the live stream tab on my channel. It'll be scheduled there. You can click on it and then click notify me, and it'll send you a notification when I go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a crazy stream in terms of diamonds and that one beautiful albino. Sadly, no great one, though. But it is what it is. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, peace, as CJO would say.